everyone, my name is Maggie and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a Fall Bath & Body Works Cancel and Body Care Haul. Did you like that? That is a sneak peek into what autumn is going to be like this year on my channel. Lots of floating leaf graphics. I'm very excited. If you haven't watched these before or if you're like, why are you talking about candles? There's a group of people online that go bananas over Bath & Body Works candles. I am not a candle person. Um, year round. I do like candles and I do burn them, but fall is definitely the time when I have a candle lit in every room anytime I'm home for more than an hour. Um, so I love talking about my favorite scents. I love sharing just, you know, kind of a glimpse into what fall will be like. We're still in August, but these candles came out at the end of July um, and I'm just really excited to share them with you. So we have a little sneak peek of autumn and all the fun to come. I have a little bit of decks up that I will take down for the rest of August, but I just love the theme as you know. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go through the candles that I bought, talk about what I like about them, how they smell, and the body care too, and yeah, let's get this train rolling. So Bath & Body Works had a sale that was buy to get two three wick candles. The candles are now $24.50, so pretty steep um, buying at full price, which is you don't ever have to do. If you're new to Bath & Body Works, don't ever buy a candle full price because they always have sales. $12.50 candles, like buy one, get one candles, whatever. So anyway, I got four candles, which is my usual order. Um, I had a lot of candles that I love that I've ha I got some last year and I still have like fully unburned ones. Leaves is one of those like really classic Bath & Body Works pot candles, but I already have a full one um, and I don't think I'm going to need one this year, so I did not buy one, but I did buy another sweater weather so this is my actually my favorite fall candle um, the packaging this year is cute so it's like a sweater on this side and like birch trees on this side and like gold and then the top is like sort of like a I don't know what you call this like a picnic basket like cross hatch kind of thing um, and so this the scent notes in this is fresh sage juniper berry I room I I've said this for three years and I can't say it fresh sage, juniper berry, aromatic eucalyptus, and fresh woods. And this is just, this is one fresh candle. That's all I can say. This is like the freshest smelling candle you can have. It's like, feels very close to actually having a door open on a like 60 degree day, like that fresh air that hits you. Um, it just smells so good. This is one more subtle fall candle and I do burn this sometimes um, in August or even throughout the year because it is so fresh and not so fall -y. It doesn't have any of those like traditional like s clove or cinnamon or pumpkin. Like it's a very low key fall candle, but it is one of my favorites. I do have one that I just started burning that was brand new from last year, but I have a feeling I'm gonna get through it. So I did grab another one of those. Another candle that I have and love and just like, I consume them so quickly is the scent Autumn. So I got this one, um, it is so cute, very similar to the other um, other jar. Two photos kind of cut in the middle. This is like of a canoe in water, and this is just of like some water and some beautiful fall leaves, and then some, you know, gold this, and then same lid. And oh my gosh, this just smells, okay, I need to prep myself because I do love it so much. <sighs> so good. <laughs> Okay, so the scent notes in this one um, are bright red gala apple, juicy fig, eucalyptus leaf, and fir balsam. So obviously eucalyptus is a trend. That's just a very bright, um, fresh smell that I do like. Um, and then the apple and the fig, those fruity notes. I think I really, I mean, I do like pumpkin candles, but I definitely prefer, I think, like apple fruity candles. And this one is another really fresh, bright candle. And I do love it. And I do have about half of one from last year that I have left to burn and then I'll break into this one but this is definitely one that I pick up quite often um, when I'm like I need to burn a candle I need to get it autumnal in here this is definitely one that I choose and I love it so the next two candles are new um, I have not gotten these scents before but I've been buying the same candles for like two years three years now and I was like I think it's time to branch out so I bought this one this one is called marshmallow fireside this one is not new by any means this has been on the market for a while um so the the jar same kind of cut um label this side is like a bonfire with like lit up trees and like a beautiful starry night sky and then this side is like a marshmallow over fire that's like the perfect golden um golden brownness um and so the scent notes in this are Toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, and crystallized amber. 
Mm, okay, so, mm, mm, okay, so, <laughs> so, I love the candle Fireside um, by Bath and Body Works, which straight up just smells like a bonfire. Not everyone likes that. It's like a smoky amber, like, it just smells so good. Um, like a bonfire, it's super cozy, like a very cozy scent. That's my favorite, I think, all year round candle. Um, so there is hints of that in here. Um, and I think that's why I like this candle so much because I don't really like sweet candles and this definitely has a sweet element. Um, and I can't do candles that are like pumpkin cheesecake or pumpkin cupcake or like any sort of like sugary treat. Can't do it. But this one, for whatever reason, I think it's like the fire note this one smells really good to me. It smells sweet, but also smoky, and I don't think it will be sickening because, like, when I burn really sweet candles, I get a headache usually, and I just, like, again, like, sickening is the word that comes to mind, but this one smells sweet in, like, a, maybe sweet in, like, an Old Spice way where it's, like, familiar and sweet, but also a little bit musky and, like, a little bit, like, something there, so I really do like this one. And I am excited to burn it because, again, I've never had it before. But it really does smell like a toasted marshmallow. Okay, so this last candle, like 8,000 points for label. Um, <laughs> I mostly bought this because of the label, but the scent is quite nice. Um, so this is the um, scent flannel, but this is the jar. And I mean, have you ever seen a jar that was made for me? All you need is fall. So the wraparound is like a birch tree, and then the letters are kind of like cut from a picture of like a um red and yellow like leaves leaf background um and it's amazing so like i said the scent is flannel and the scent notes are fresh bergamot heirloom mahogany and soft musk so i do love bergamot that's another one of my favorite scents so this is going to be a very um woodsy masculine musky smell and it is um it smells the best way that I've heard it described and that I really do describe it is like a man right out of the shower. Like there is that fresh, wet note like from the bergamot and then like the musky sort of woodsy smell and it just smells very good, very like, comforting I think is another word that would, would describe this. Like, um, I mean I don't date men, but like hugging your boyfriend like right after he got out of the shower and put on like a clean shirt, like a clean plain t-shirt, like that kind of like comforting, nice smell. So I'm excited to burn this too. I wonder where I'll burn this. I usually, I usually reserve like my favorite candles for my bedroom because that's where I spend like my sleep time. Um, but this might be a living room candle. I don't know. It smells so good. Okay, so those are all the candles. Now on to, I don't want that to fall. Um, now on to body care. So only uh, in the past year have I really gotten into the fall body care. Usually I was like strict candles, like body lotion, who needs it? I need it, I'm very dry. So I picked up three um, of these body lotions. They were like, I think six bucks each. So that's a pretty good steal because they're usually $14. So I got three of them and I'll go through them and show you what I got. So only uh, in the past year have I really gotten into the fall body care. Usually I was like strict candles, like body lotion, who needs it? I need it, I'm very dry. So I picked up three um, of these body lotions. They were like, I think six bucks each. So that's a pretty good steal because they're usually $14. So I got three of them and I'll go through them and show you what I got. So the first one I got is a staple. I loved this one um, last year and I got like the body cream and like the body butter. I just loved it. So it's champagne, apple, and honey. And I do really like the labels this year. They have like a photo up top and then an illustration with the scent in it. And there's a little bit of shininess at the bottom. It's just very cute. So um, this, I just like that they have little like things to read on the back. It says, thank goodness it's fall, crisp sunshiny days, apple orchards open across the land, leaves all bright and everything's all right because it's that time of the year when all your favorite ingredients are here. It's so true, Bath and Body Works, it's so true. <laughs> okay, so the fragrant no fragrance notes in this are pink lady apple, sparkling champagne, jasmine honey, and autumn woods. And uh, this is just like, like I said, I love apple scents. So this is like, I just slather all over myself year round, as long as it lasts until I run out. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, but it just smells divine. Mmm, it's just, it's like, again, it's like that kind of bright. This is more of like a, almost like a sour apple smell as opposed to like a sweet apple smell. 
but it smells so fresh and delicious. I love it. Um, and yeah, that's my favorite. Next thing I got is marshmallow pumpkin latte, which this is, oh, whoops. This is probably my favorite um, design of them all. So it has, again, like a picture of pumpkins up top, a little de like designed pumpkin here with marshmallow pumpkin latte, and then a little gold foil wrap around. Um, and the scent notes in this are pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallow, creamy sandalwood, and praline musk. So this is a sweet or body care scent, which again, you guys know I don't really care for. Um, but I, I bought, I bought a similar one last year and I didn't actually use it. So I hope to actually use this one this year. I'm trying to lotion more. I need to lotion more. Mm, okay. So this one is definitely like more bakery sweet. It's like, yeah, it's just like that really sweet smelling. Like I don't get a lot of like coffee or anything. It says it's latte, but I don't get a lot of coffee in it. Mostly just sweet, vanilla, spicy pumpkin, but it smells really good and this is yeah i'm not like a super sweet person but like i would definitely put this on like before i went to bed the apple one i put more on like if i'm going somewhere and i would like to smell like delicious but the pumpkin one i probably put on like right after i shave my legs and i'm like i want to be a pumpkin dessert that's when i put that on so the last one i got is crisp orchard leaves and this is also a really cutely designed very colorful one with the green um wrap around like foil and so cute. So the scent notes in this are autumn pear slices, cool air, fresh picked apple, and oak leaves. So another sort of apple pear leaning scent, um, which I didn't realize. I definitely thought this was floral, but this is not floral at all. It's orchard leaves, nothing to do with flowers. Um, <laughs> so this is a scent that I do really like. I feel like this one was a little more ambiguous. Like not, like you wouldn't be like, oh, this is a false scent. Like the other two are definitely false scents, but this one, this one is more like an everyday scent. It's still pretty bright. Um, it does smell a little floral, but it's... It smells good. I don't know how else to say it. It smells feminine. The other two, I mean, this one is kind of like gender neutral, I'd say. This one definitely has a feminine smell to it. And um, yeah, just like fruity, light, bright, happy, feel good smell. Okay, that is everything I picked up at Bath & Body Works so far. I'm sure I will pick up other things later, but for now, this is what I got. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you didn't leave a comment below of your favorite Bath & Body Works scent. If you love Bath & Body Works candles, if you love different candles, if you couldn't give a crap about candles, but you're excited for fall, <laughs> just let me know in the comments. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on my social media, which is on the screen and in the description box below. I'll have all of these candles and body creams listed in the description box also. I appreciate you so, so, so much. Thank you so much for your support. I'm really excited for fall. Um, I have a month left until I really dive in, but I'm really excited about it. And I'm so excited to have you with me and to go through this wonderful season together. So again, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate your support and I will see you next time. Bye.